It's your girl Jolie Ming and I'm back on the scene doing my everything. But you know what I mean. What? What? But you know what I mean. What? What's up guys? It's your girl Jolie and I'm back with another video. And you know it's a story time. How my camera is about to die though. My name is Jolie Ming. Um, you can call me Jolie. Anyways, this is my channel, and here I do a various selection of things, but mostly I like to focus on story times because my viewers love it. So if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video before we begin, and make sure you drop a comment by the end of this video referring to this video or any other video that you want to see. Okay, we're gonna get right into the story time. We're gonna start with my friend. We gonna call her Duck. I was around 17 or 18 years old, and Duck looked like a duck, so I'ma call her Duck. <laughs> Some people might say that's harsh. Well, so what What she did to me was even worse. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. Let's move on. She ain't a real friend, so that's why I'm being I'm being a little petty, but it's alright. So Duck had this cousin. They playing Fortnite. Y'all know this is this is routine. Um, they always yelling. So Duck introduced me to her cousin. One time I was staying at her crib and she was on the phone with her cousin. So she started giving good details on him like, oh, you know, like once you get a taste, you ain't gonna wanna give him back. Bitch, that's your cousin. How you know that? I'm like, he's the, he's the whole pack of this pink Starburst? Like, let me know, sis. Let's call him G. So me and G's met through his cousin, Duck. His cousin. Anyways, let's move past the incest, okay? Now, me and G's relationship was like... It was like a jail relationship. We never saw each other in person. So it was like, we was basically gaining feelings off of conversation. Um, some might say like, this is impossible, but for my young ass, this was possible, okay? We were basically like pen pals. <laughs> this is embarrassing, like, we would talk long hours on the phone. We would go to sleep while we on the phone together. And you know, once you fall asleep on the phone with somebody, like, y'all always talking on the phone day and night, and then y'all fall asleep. It's like, you waking up to them. And it's like you in love. Nah. But it's basically like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, y'all know. I felt, in my mind, that he was very mature. He was 20 years old, by the way. He was a little older than me. I was 17 at the time. He was like 20. He was mature. He was respectful. He was a family guy. He was very caring. Like I said, I figured all of this out over the phone. So who's to say it's even true in person? Okay? One day, we decided to link up. So, me and him is like, how are we gonna do this? Like, I'm young, I'm still in school, my mama don't really let me out that much. He knows that, I let him know that, because I'll be honest with anybody, you feel what I'm saying? Even if I can't have a boyfriend, and I still want you to be my boo, I was gonna tell you, like, my mom don't want me to date, but I'm willing to date you. Like, <laughs> my bad, I'm animated, guys, y'all know that, y'all know that, I'm animated, so... Sometimes like my mom would let me stay um after school like around my school for like hours and just chill with my friends Stay after school. So this time I decided to use that as a way to see him. Ma, I'm sorry I know you probably know like you had an idea But this is probably the first time that you like hearing stories like this But just know that I'm still alive. So we good. We straight, right? Ma, we straight. Ma, don't hurt me, okay? <laughs> We straight. Anyways, so I used that and I was like, we can link after school. You feel me? My mom gonna think that I'm out by my school and we gonna be good. Okay. He like, cool. I know this was really dumb of me, like to even consider this being that I never saw this boy. But I thought like, I know his cousin. So his cousin, you know us as teenagers, not even teenagers, as humans, we like to play with fire a little bit. We know it's wrong. We know we shouldn't do that. No, it's a cowardice. But we like to get burnt so that we can learn never to go play with fire again. You get what I'm saying? So that was my type of time. And I'm like, fuck it, like, let's do it. Let's link. Even though I never saw you, you could be a pedo. I just have faith in his cousin. You feel what I'm saying? He would show me pictures, but like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just didn't match the voice. I was like, whatever, like, you know, like, it's him. Like, it's him. <laughs> dummy i picked a location for us to meet up which was between the school my mom's house and between my sister's house and this spot is a spot in the bronx called interville some of you probably know you can search it up it's a train stop 
um just so you could get the image of it and just know a little bit of like where i was at the time i gave him the address to a uh, white castles that's there the white castles is still there search that up i give him that address just so he can drop me off back there and then to get to my house to my sister's house or wherever i was gonna go it would be easy for me to do that so after school i'm skipping my little happy ass to the location <laughs> He was coming from a far place, so I had to wait. One car came before him, and then he pulled up. But I thought the other person was him, because it was a Benz. He talked about how much money he got. Like, he be flaunting. Like So I'm like, oh, this got to be him. This got to be him. Like, I'm starting to walk to the Benz. I hear peeping. And it was like a bus sound. Like, Jolie. Sticking his head out the passenger side, bro. I start walking back. I'm crying. <laughs> why are you crying? Because I'm like, why? It couldn't be this car. Oh, it's the granddaddy cars. The granddaddy old Volkswagen. Like, if I can find a picture, I'm going to put a picture. Because that shit was bogus. Like, I'm just like, okay. He in the passenger side. He like getting. When I get in this car, the amount of trash that was in there, it was like, <sighs> It was like a hoarder's lair. Like, it was papers in there. It was clothes in there. Candy wrappers. McDonald boxes. Like, who got kids? Who got kids? I hope you don't. I get in the car. Because I didn't see that until I got in the car. Really, Who was driving? He said it was his uncle. Who knows if that was true. Because the amount of lies this man told me is crazy, y'all. So, I'm in the car now. And I'm already second guessing this. I'm like, um, I don't even want to do this. Like, I don't want to go no more. Nothing. But I don't want to make him feel bad because remember my idea of him is the fact that he's a respectful man a family man i got this idea off of our conversations so i'm like i don't want to be mean to him and he's a genuine ass person yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well what i thought was genuine the whole time he driving off he put in the he put the window down you know so we could get a little air because like i said it was a granddaddy car, so bitch, what AC? What? What AC? His spot was not in the Bronx. It was very far from the Bronx, guys. Very far. About an hour and some change, okay? I'm just like, oh my god, I hope nobody see me in this fucking car. Like, the boy wasn't, he wasn't a catfish, but he was dusty looking. So I don't know if you would call that a catfish, because he did look clean in his pictures. But he was just dusty, but he looked like himself. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, alright, like, you, you are who you say you are, but you're just dusty. Maybe that's how they chill out there in your, like, your side. But over here, I like... Like, we, we do the cleanliness. Like, we like to be clean. Well, not everybody in the Bronx. But, like, my like my people's, yeah. So, I'm like, this nigga is dusty. The drive was, like, so long. I felt so musty in that car. I felt so annoyed because shit kept falling on me, bro. Why is this shit falling on me? Whose is this? Whose paperwork is this? Whose is it? Like, pick it the fuck up. Like, take it in your house. Whose clothes is this? Like, I'm ha I'm happy they didn't have bed bugs, bro. I'm so happy. Because uh, then I would have had bed bugs and my mom would have kicked me the fuck out. Period. So, mom, I know you get tired. But, mama, it's okay. But it's okay to be tired, though, but... Period. She plays no games. After an hour and some change, bro, we finally get to the destination, okay? So, the place we went to kind of looked like... You know the little communities that have, like, the two-story complexes? It was dope, that type of environment. So, I'm like, oh, this look weird. Like, this look different. The the area of the community was filled with people as if it was, like, a cookout or something. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! He like... Oh, this is an everyday thing. Like, people always outside like this. Like, and I'm like, I wonder why. Like, ain't nothing else out here for y'all to do. He starts taking me from, like, community to community. Basically, I'm assuming to show me off. Because I look the fuck good. Like, we basically go to, like, where he hangs out at. And it's mad old guys. So I'm like, all day you just chill with old niggas. Like, me and him, we smoking, we chilling, we talking, right? Let's fast forward because that's all we pretty much was doing. So now it hits like 7 p.m. And I let him know, like, I got to go soon. Like, so Jesus basically, like, giving me the runaround. Like, oh, I got to go here first. I got to go tie my shoe. I got to go do this. I got to go see my pops. I got to go... I gotta go pick up my baby mom. I gotta not those exact words, but he's giving me to run around like dumb shit like that. Like that you could do after you take me back home. Whatever. Let's just go do what you gotta go do. First he had to go see his pops. So we go see his pops. For some reason, as soon as we get to his pops, bro, soon as we get there, I swear it was like 2.5 seconds. We get out the car. There was an argument. Okay. 
vicious argument. Like, you would think, like, it was foam coming out these niggas' mouth while they arguing. Like, it was just ill. So over there, I don't know if y'all know, but, like, like where I was, everywhere has guns. Yes, I know that. But these niggas was walking around like you could see it tucked in their fucking pants. Like, it wasn't no um discreetness about it. They walk to the store, they have it in their hand. Like, you would think he about to rob the store. Like, but the store man got one too, so they cool. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's that type of vibe out there. So I'm like, um, this is intense. Like, this is scary. So he like, yo, let's go in my pop's crib. Like, we could stay there until this shit calm down. I don't want you to be in harm's way. So I'm like, all right, like, cool. We go in his pop's crib, right? I'm just nervous because if you know, like, if you have strict parents, you know. Like, the only thing you do you scared of more than anything, you could be in a life or death situation. All you thinking about is, like, I'm not, do not get a free flop. I better make it home on time, like. Or I'm gonna get my ass beat. You feel what I'm saying? So so he needs to be on that road before 8.30. You feel what I'm saying? But it's still 7, around 7-ish. So I'm like, we good. Boom. Because I gotta be home at like 9.30-ish type. You know, like the latest would be like 9.40. You get what I'm saying? So I was still good. So we at his pop house, right? And he's showing me around. Bro, they ain't have nothing in their kitchen. They ain't have no couches. They had like the foldable chairs. Like, you know, like the steel looking ones. Like they had those. The bed, like in the room, the bed looked like, like grandma done died there. But not to be mean, but it, it really looked like mad old. So I'm like, we just started talking. Like we was just talking about random shit. He started talking about random shit. So now he brings up his cousin, Duck. I'm very in tune. He started telling me how they not really cousins. He fucked up when they was like a little younger. And their family just became close and as if they were family. So they put everything off and basically became cousins. I don't believe in none of that fake cousin shit. So I'm just like, so that was your girl. Like, don't say that that was your cousin. Like, that just blew mine. Everything was just cat with this man. And then my friend Duck basically lied to me about him. Ah, long out, bitch, you done that. Because you was fucking him. And that's how you know that once you get a taste, you won't want to go back. Like, if you like the taste of garbage, bitch, then... Because that's what he was. He was trash. Like, his pops never came back inside the house. So now we alone for mad long. He started getting on the, um, trying to feel me like... Uh -huh. no, Saturday! Don't touch me, Dusty. So I start dubbing his shit, like, over and over and over. Like, trying to get him, like, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Stop. Just stop. So now we hit around, like, 7.50-ish, and I'm panicking. Like, I'm mad. I'm frustrated. I'm starting to think this nigga don't want to take me home. Like, what's going on? So I start telling him over and over, like, I'm not, I don't want to do nothing. He's like, oh, you want to go in there? You want to go, you want to go here? You want to do this? No, I want to go home. He start getting mad. Some drama is about to happen. He start yelling trying to violate why because i ain't let you fuck like bro like leave me alone like i don't want to you're dusty everything about you is a lie like he started yelling and saying like he could really do me grimy right now like i'm all out of my um comfort zone i'm all out of my element like he could really get gritty on me and i'm like he like you out here in my hood like okay all i'm saying is can you take me home he's like oh i didn't bring you over here for you to have an attitude i don't got an attitude i just want to fucking go home i don't want to fuck you so you think i got an attitude Baby, take the L. You lose, honey. Then, this is where it started getting crazy. Well, Ben got crazy, the fact that he still didn't take me home after an hour and some change. But, this is where it really started getting crazy. So, like I said, niggas out there got guns and shit. Like, it's just like their normal lifestyle. They just have guns. You feel what I'm saying? He pulls out a gun and puts it on the table. You can go to jail, baby girl. Bitch, I thought I shit on myself. I'm just like, ooh. You smell that? Because... <laughs> Bitch, I got so scared. I've seen a gun before. I've seen a nigga with a gun, but I've never had a nigga talk crazy to, like, to me and then take out a gun. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I was shitting on myself, but I just told myself, like, if you back down and you let this nigga see your weakness, it's, uh, it's clip for you. It's clip for you. So, I'm like, hell no. Like, don't you know New York bitches are savages? I'm from the Bronx. I don't know. <laughs> Bitch, if you gonna shoot, you better shoot, cuz I'm from the fucking Bronx. Fuck is you? <laughs> Think you intimidating me? Like, no, well, yes, cuz I was shitting my pants, but I ain't gonna show you that. Like, I started yelling at him, talking my shit. Well, me, I'm not gonna back down. Like, I don't know, but I know how to talk. So, just pay attention. So, this is me to him. Fuck is you gonna do? Why is you pulling that shit out and you ain't gonna bust that shit? Fuck is you doing? So now he looking at me like, basically like he liking that shit. So I'm like, like you, you doing that to scare me? Like you got the wrong fucking one. I'm not these little ass lame bitches out here that you be fucking with. I'm from the fucking Bronx and I'm real gritty with it. So if you gonna bust, bust. Like I'm really talking my shit. 
But then I'm like, on the other hand, I'm also like, right after I said that, I'm like, to be honest, you on some bullshit right now. You on some little nigga antics right now. And I'm not feeling that. I'm not finna sit here and play with you. Like, this is our first link. If you think I was gonna fuck you on the first date, you got me fucked up. I'm willing to see you again, Cap. This was Cap, but I had to get myself out of that position. So I'm like, I'm willing to see you again. But right now, the type of timing you on, it's clip for you. Like, it's, it's, you're done. Like, that's it. So, if you know me, you know I talk like that. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I talk like that regardless. So, it's like, yeah, I was trying to get out of that situation. And I felt like the only way I, I could do that is to match his energy so he could see, like, oh, I'm not fucking with no little, like, some, some lame-ass bitch that I could get my way with. You get what I'm saying? I just had to match his energy, like, and it worked. He started to calm down. He like, yeah, you right. Like, like I'm being a bozo right now. Like, I don't mean to move like that. <laughs> Got <laughs> I start planning my escape route. So while he's talking and I'm just like thinking of a way to get out of there. Out of that whole little town that we was in. Like I remembered and I'm like he don't got nothing in his fridge. So that means he ain't got no juice. He ain't got no water. I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Like that was all going through my mind while he's talking. Anyways, I don't care what you saying. I'm thirsty now because you got me out here yelling. He like, oh, you could go drink the tap water. Yeah. Bitch, what? I cannot drink faucet water first of all because I get sick i pull out my pump i start taking my pump and all of that like yeah and i got asthma so therefore I, I need to go get some water because you got me yelling and now i'm out of breath like so he like aye aye let's go let's go boom bitch he fell for it's it stupid he fell for it a bad bitch then got out of that bum ass house fuck you talking about even though i was still with a bum ass nigga i'm about to get away from him too watch how i move anyways we go to the store we cop what we cop you feel me he got me some water thanks daddy no you ain't daddy Nah, he's not daddy. He's motherfucking um saddy because <laughs> we got the water and we goes back like we go back to where his pops is at. So now I'm gonna utilize the people on the outside to get away from the town. You get what I'm saying? So he like, let's go back inside. And I'm in the car and I'm like, so guys, I failed to mention that the car that we've been using, like to go to his dad's house, to go to the store. Um, it's still the granddaddy car, so I'm assuming that he can only drive around in that town, but he wasn't allowed to come all the way out there to go get me. Like, no, I do not want to go back inside. So I step out the car, you get what I'm saying? Because I don't want him to do no bogus shit and try to, like, drive off while I'm in there. So now I'm making a scene, and I know somebody is gonna, like, somebody's gonna notice and be like, what's going on over there? Something. And they happen to, of course, hear me because that was the plan in the first place. Like, I was young, but I was really, like, mentally smart. Like, I was street smart, book smart, all of that. I knew, like, I'm gonna get my ass away from here. I'm, like, making a scene like, I wanna go fucking home. Like, this is not what the fuck I came out here for. Like, I just wanna go home. His pops comes to the call. So his pops is like, oh, um, what's the problem? What's going on? You he like, you good, little lady. So I'm like, I'm straight, but I just wanna go home. Like, he told me that he would pay my cab, which is cap he didn't tell me that i don't give a fuck like i'm like he told me he would pay my cab back home it's about like 200 dollars like and i don't got that type of money on me right now i got about like 70 cash so now i start crying like real tears bitch i wasn't i don't know the only thing i was scared about was getting my ass beat like and he was like nah just just chill like chill 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 and then he started like disciplining his son like the fuck you bring her out here you gonna lie to her like you can go to jail baby girl so his father is like oh i get you home little lady just chill like he's like basically telling him like you could get in trouble for shit like this he's young she look young this could be kidnapped i'm like thank the fucking lord like and then he start the dad started talking to me like he's like i don't know why you came out here all the way out here i don't even want to know but you just need to be careful because if it's 200 dollars to get back home that means you're very far from your home you're not my dad your parents probably don't even know that you out. He just starts speaking real shit to me. The father, he actually hands me $200. Like flat. 200 in my hand. Okay. And he's like, oh, and I'm gonna drive you to the, um, like where the taxis and shit be at. He was like, oh, I just want to apologize on behalf of my son. All this extra shit. So me, him, and his son get in the car. And he really drives me to the taxi place. Like, even though his son tried to be on some bozo shit. He really, like, kept his word at that moment. I don't know if it's the scene that I caused and it caused all his friends to, like, like, oh, shit, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, that's your son. That's your son. You know, like, but he really kept his word. And I'm just so grateful because my dumb ass probably would have been hurt up there, like, where I was. You get what I'm saying? It was, like, where, where is that? It was, like, where Schenectady, Schenectady, 
schenectady is i think that's what it's called schenectady i don't really know how to say it but it was like up there like all the way up there you feel what i'm saying so that's far i was just like thank the fucking lord because why why did i even attempt to go see somebody that far like and i don't even know him and i should smack duck in her face because why would you even link me up with one of your ex-boyfriends that now became your family so you think it's okay to be like this is my cousin but in reality you used to fuck on him ah, log out, bitch. You done that. so why would you even link me and he's dusty what so your reviews were trash i don't know what the did to you but it made you go fucking blind bitch because what you see and what i saw it was not the same description baby it was not i'm just so thankful that i'm okay don't meet people off of other people unless you see them in person for yourself don't meet people online because you never know who's behind that computer behind that phone they don't be who they really say they are just don't i would say just don't just meet people in person this internet shit is not what it what it seems to be you get what i'm saying so that was my story time so in my case i feel like i got kidnapped you feel what i'm saying i was all the way over there he was denying my wishes to go back home so therefore he kept me hostage because he pulled out that gun thought that shit was gonna skin me it did but i I held my shit down, right? Don't, don't cat. I really held it down and I was like really like smart about it. Like I ain't gonna lie, I was shitting my pants but I couldn't fold. Like, let's be real, I'm from the Bronx. Don't you know New York bitches are savages? And I, ooh.